bun, patty, cheese, ketchup, bun. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of me playing with children's toys instead of actually cooking something for a chance cheat days. Don't worry, I'll get back to the regular stuff eventually. If you guys want me to do more of these, I'll still have to order whatever else there is, but I'll get back to the regular chance cheat days where I actually prepare real food. But for now, we're doing this again. Poppin' cooking, burgers and fries and coke. Honestly, this looks like it could taste better than last, but I'm just not gonna get my hopes up so that I won't get disappointed. Also, there looks to be a bunch more instructions on this one compared to the previous one, and also, once again, all the instructions are in Japanese, which I can't read Japanese. So, depending on how much trouble I have, as we go on, I may or may not have to Google English instructions. Hopefully I won't have to. Also, there's a part here that says I'm gonna need an oven. There's like a little illustration that says I'm gonna need an oven for this one. So this is definitely a lot more work than the last one. So let's just get this opened and let's begin. Uh, what? So this is what I'm gonna use like to present everything in the end. And this is just for like the whole building process, like further instructions and whatnot. There's a cup. Just like the last one, which was dented from the shipping, this is also, <laughs> this also has a, a few dents. Oh, they want me to cut up these. Oh, sh first is to cut up this triangle bit here. Oh boy, French fry mix, French fry mix, French fry mix. The yellow one, French fry mix, duh. And then how many drops of water? Oh, I need this. So this is the measuring spoon, whatever. Two of these guys in here with the French fry mix straight to the microwave already. I didn't mean to get a whiff of that, but some definitely went up my nose. How do I even do this? One and two. It smells like potato chips. Now it says to use your finger to push it down flat, throw it in the microwave, and then slice it into strips. Hopefully I won't have to use the microwave for every step, that's such a hassle. Okay, now it's hella flat. Now I'm gonna throw this in the microwave, I'll be back. How long? It doesn't say. It does not, or as, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not seeing any numbers in the first window of instructions, so wish me luck. Okay, so, kind of burnt. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but it definitely has brown on it, and it's stiff. Oh no! That's what I get for not looking for English instructions. Oh no, some parts of it are still soft. It's just one part that's like hella, hella hard. Okay, okay, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this did not go well. I'll just use scissors, because I don't want to ruin the knife. Well, might as well taste it now, huh? Not bad. Tastes like potato chips, or if you've had those like french fry chips, tastes like that, pretty much. Not bad. Well, that's not gonna be part of the display, but at least it actually tastes pretty decent. I'd eat that for sure. Now, I'm gonna taste the ones that aren't burnt. Tastes like fake french fries. Honestly, not bad. So, I burnt the first one. It's no longer gonna be part of the presentation in the end, obviously, but it was good. I'll give it like an eight out of 10. My execution, like a negative eight out of 10. Next up is the, the burger patty. I need this guy. I put water in after the powder last time and that didn't go super well, so I'll try putting in water first and then the powder. We'll see how, how well this goes. And two. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was not the best idea. There is no space in this thing, dog. <laughs> it actually smells like, like artificial beef, like a burger from any fast food restaurant. Oh, I am an idiot. No, genuinely, I am an idiot. I am meant to use the bigger bowl to mix this. That makes so much more sense. That's what I get for not knowing how to read Japanese. This is so much better, are you kidding me? We live and we learn. Or in my case, just we live and 
barely learn anything. Now we have artificial ground beef. Next, we need to put this here. So I'll just stuff everything in there. Not meant to flatten it too much, I don't think. Just enough to where it's like compressed. It's time for the bun. Once I have both buns here on either side, I'm supposed to put everything in the microwave again. And hopefully I don't burn these guys because these guys are like the stars of the show. So wish me luck, but I'll, I'll, I'll do the mixing for the bun. This looks interesting. Smells interesting too. For this one, I need to fill it up only up to a line. I'm trying to do the thing you do when you bake. So it's like flat before you put it in the oven. Now it's time to throw it in the oven and just pray. Don't burn, please. All right, I think we are just about golden. I put it in for about 25, 30 seconds. It does smell really good and it feels cooked to an extent. Definitely not overcooked like the last one. So that's the main thing I'm happy about. So let's just throw it down here. Buns are stuck. Need to pry them out with a knife. <laughs> so this is going to make me two burgers, one cheeseburger and one double cheeseburger, it looks like. This is so good. And then slice this into three. This beef is hard to cut, not bad. And then just down the middle for this one. So now hopefully you guys can see we have three patties and two pairs of burger buns. Now, oh, uh, cheese, I think. Is it this? Why is it blue? That makes sense. Just one cup. Doesn't really smell like cheese. Doesn't even smell like craft. <laughs> now I just need to lay it down here and follow the guy. It's harder than it looks. All right, this took way longer than it should have, but here's the cheese. It's not perfect, but none of these are perfect. Let's be honest. Ketchup next. I wonder what the ketchup's gonna be like. Definitely way more liquidy than, oh. I was tempted to just go, um, <laughs> but no, not gonna do that. I'll save the taste test for the end. Okay, so the consistency is starting to become more like ketchup. Earlier it was a lot more like liquidy, a lot more thin. It doesn't really smell exactly like ketchup. It smells more like just straight tomato sauce or tomato paste. Let's assemble this thing. So it's gonna be bun, patty, cheese, ketchup, bun. Bun, patty cheese, ketchup, bun. Order up. Now the double patty. It's not a double cheeseburger because there's only one cheese. There we go, nice. And then another patty, and then just straight to the bun. And let's not forget the Coke. I need to fill it up with water one centimeter from the brim. I need to get a freaking ruler now. That's about a centimeter, I think. Now, the cola powder. I don't know when this stopped recording, but I was too focused on measuring. So, I'm back. It's fizzing. Now it's time to set up the entire thing. I'm getting ketchup all over the place. Oh, uh, I need to put the, 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 the thing around. Do I have glue? I'm taking this way too seriously. Hopefully it sticks to the side of the cup. And it does, nice. <laughs> there you go. All right, so here's the finished product of the pop and cook in uh, fast food thing. Unfortunately, obviously the french fries couldn't be here because I killed it in the most literal sense. That sucks, but here we are now. It's finally time to taste. I'll start with the little guy first. Hang on. Just dip the entire thing and then I'll eat it whole. And I'll have a drink of the Coke. No, 
Oh, that ruined everything. Oh, that's disgusting. So the burger, way better than I could have ever anticipated. Especially since the last one I did of this, I didn't necessarily like it. So I didn't have big expectations for this, not at all. But I was pleasantly surprised. Even the fries, even though I ruined it, it still tasted good. From the two I've done, I prefer this. Obviously not affiliated with these guys in any way, shape, or form, but if you guys just want to try it out for yourselves, this is the one I'd recommend. If you guys want me to try out the different ones, if there's any more, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can get my hands on. For this, the fries I gave an eight out of 10, I think. For the burgers, I'll give an eight out of 10 again. This, I do not care for. They somehow managed to make cola sweeter than it already is. Uh, but yeah, for next month, I'll do my best to get a proper Chance Cheat Days episode out, one where I'm actually cooking actual food or at the very least preparing actual food. Probably gonna be holiday themed, no promises, but we'll see. As long as there's actual food in the next episode, then I'll be happy. If you guys wanna see previous episodes of Chance Sheet Days, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below and there should be a card popping up right here. If you're new here, I make fitness and food related content as well as vlogs of just fun and exciting stuff that I enjoy. So if you wanna see more of that, please stick around. I upload new videos every single Saturday. But this has been another episode of Chance Cheat Days where it's not actually a cheat day because every day is a cheat day. I'm out. Peace. Whoa.